Señoras y señores, a continuación haremos la presentación olímpica de los planteles. Vamos a comenzar presentando al equipo de Flamengo de Brasil. Número uno, Guido Bato. Tres, Scott. Oh. Número seis, Franco Balbi. Siete, Didi Lousada. 8, Mike Tavares. 9, Tio Jaú. 13, Felipe Mota. 16, Olivia. 22, Devon Scott. 23, Cayo Porfio. 35, Philip Ometti. Y 44, Martín Cueso. Dirige técnicamente Gustavo Conti. A continuos presentamos a la Asociación de Drake Macabre del Uruguay. Número 3, Dora Dun. 4, Joaquín Asín. 5, Juan Ducase. 9, Federico Galer. 10, Brian García. 11, Frank Basel. 13, Manuel Romero. 21, Luciano Parol. 23, Jordan Williams. 28, Lautaro Piatri. 30, Ernesto Olivier. Y 35, Santiago Calimares. Dirige técnicamente Leonardo Silverstein. Good evening and welcome in to the third night of the January window of BCL America's play. Alongside my partner, Paul Bogueski, I'm Craig Feta. And we're so glad you can be with us wherever you're tuned in from, around the Americas or around the world. We are back at Palacio Peñarol in Montevideo, Uruguay for the final Group C game in the January window for the 2023-24 BCL America season. This game between Hebraica Maccabi of Uruguay and Flamengo of Brazil will determine who is in control of this Group C heading into the final window in February. Hebraica defeated Flamengo in December 92-87, and so the Brazilians look to flip the script tonight. Paul Flamengo comes into this one after gutting out a tough win last night over Boca Juniors but they still shot atrociously from three-point range. They won't be able to do that tonight and win against the tough Hebraica Maccabi squad. They'll need to work it inside to Gabriel Galvanini and Devin Scott if they're going to have success. Yeah, they cannot shoot that percentage again tonight to come out with a victory. And I believe they got Dennis Scott, a big power player, uh, just recently to match uh, Hebraica Maccabi's power in uh, Ogilvy and uh, uh, Hassel. And uh, they're going to have to punish him, maybe get him in foul trouble. But the bottom line is, Craig, you know, they can't shoot three for 24 from the three tonight and expect to get a win. But they do make up for that by going to the free throw line like they did last night 30 times. So, uh, but, but you're right, they have to shoot better for sure. In three games from beyond the arc, Flamengo 25 of 108 for 23 percent. As we look Ouch. at the starting lineup now for Hebraica Maccabi. 
same starting five for Leonardo Silverstein we saw the other night. Franklin Hassel, Manuel Romero, Luciano Parodi, Jordan Williams, and Ernesto Ogilvy. For Flamengo and Gustavo Conti, he makes one change tonight. He's playing with Scott Cotto, Franco Balbi in place of Martin Cuello, Didi Lozada, Gabriel Galvanini, and Devin Scott. Brock Ebony Wild comes into this one off the Brock Ebony Wild comes into this one off a day of rest after beating up on Boca 82-64 on Wednesday. Jordan Williams had another sparkling game, scoring 28 points with a 32 efficiency rating, while Ernesto Ogilvy added 21 points and 10 boards with a 25 efficiency rating. Franklin Hassel and Luciano Perotti also had great games, and Paul, they looked very tough after three games in this group. Yeah, and uh, in my opinion, Jordan Williams is the best player in the, in this pool, I believe. Uh, uh, he just does it all, and yeah, 28-7. And I'm looking forward to that matchup of uh, Jordan Williams and Gabriel Galvanini uh, because both of those players, I believe, are two of the best players uh, in this pool play. Uh, but uh, we can't overlook uh, Hassel, who had 13 rebounds, five of them offensive, so... Uh, Flamingo's going to have to find a way to keep him off the glass also. And in the last game against Flamingo, Franklin Hassel had 23 points, 11 rebounds. So he feels comfortable playing this team for sure. Yes, he feels very comfortable. And I think that's, uh, Craig, I think that's why they added Dennis Scott. That's a big reason. There you get a look at Gustavo Conti. Our officials for this one. Roberto Vasquez of Puerto Rico, Michael Scott of Canada, and Franco Krivokapic of Argentina. That's a name with which I am not familiar. I have not seen him officiate before in FIBA play. And a big welcome in to all our viewers in the USA on FanDuel TV, across South America on DirecTV, and around the rest of the world on the BCL Americas YouTube channel. There you get a look at Franklin Hassel. He's just got the right build for a rebounder. You know, he's pretty slim, but he's uh, wide at the shoulders and has really long arms. And he is relentless in the paint at going after rebounds, both defensive and offensive. So, like I said before, uh, they're going to have to find a way to keep him somehow off the glass. We are underway. Ogilvy jumping against Devin Scott. Breaker Maccabi in their yellow uniforms. Banana yellow, canary yellow, whatever you want to call it. And Breaker Maccabi in their black outfits trimmed with red. Williams giving it up to Romero with his long three missed. Rebound tapped, controlled by Jordan Williams. Let's the defender go by. Didn't get a good jump and bounced it off the rim on the way up. He wanted the foul. Maybe that's why he didn't get a good jump. Well, there's the two guys for Flamengo that we wanted to see get involved early. Gabriel Galvanini on the dish to Devin Scott. And he's got the first two points of the game. And we saw Devin Scott feel more, more comfortable as the game went on in the, his first game with this team, and he looks to to be a, a, a presence here early. Scott had nine points and six rebounds against Boca in his debut. As we see Luciano Parodi get his first two points of the night. He had seven points and eight assists versus Flamengo in December. And Scott fouled on the way up. Looks to me like Flamengo and Gustavo Conti are making a concerted effort to get the ball to Devin Scott early. Yeah, that's one way to get the uh, the other team's bigs out of the game. Get them in foul trouble early. Yeah. And you're absolutely right, Craig. They're looking to pound it in the post early in this game, which is a great strategy. The problem is a lot of teams go away from it once it's successful. So we'll see what happens today. And so he can make possessions. Sure yeah, two possessions in the paint for Scott. He's got one bucket and he's drawn one foul. He's got four points now, all four for Flamingo. 
which is two more shots than he had the first, the whole first <laughs> half last game. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> we, we saw his frustration the other night. Perotti handing it off to Romero on the weave. He cuts back the other way. Perotti, oh, beautiful pass inside to Hassel. He gets blocked with a foul call. I'll tell you what, Craig, in all these games, we've seen some beautiful pocket passes and and uh, some nice passing. Uh, unfortunately, last night, <laughs> there was a lot of missed layups, but the passing is absolutely there. So Franklin Hassel to the free throw line. He's four of six from the stripe in the tournament so far. Plays first. I'm liking it, Craig. This is a little old school early, going inside first and then maybe outside. Yeah. Early. I like it. Hassel hits them both, and we're tied up at four. Nice to see some scoring <laughs> early on in the game as well. Exactly. Well, because it's inside, not just jacking up threes. Yep. Galvanini gets it out to Scott. There he goes again. Draws another foul. This will be the second on Franklin Hassel. As Jordan Williams gets helped up from the floor. Greg, he's, he's like a couple players I played against when I played in the NBA, like Carl Malone, that he even punishes you physically when when you're on defense and he's on offense. He's, he's just a physical presence in there. So Franklin Hassel out of the game already with two fouls. And if you're Flamengo, a minute and 57 seconds into this game, mission accomplished so far. Absolutely. I would like to see them stick with it now. Yeah, I mean, keep feeding the dog until he's full, right? Yeah, and keep getting some other people in foul trouble and get to the, you know, the backups of, uh, of the other team. So Juan Ducasse comes on. As Hassel hits both free throws. Ducasse replaces Hassel with two fouls. And Devin Scott has all six of Flamingo's points. Manuel Romero for three. Missed. Scott the rebound. So Galvanini <laughs> missed the layup. <laughs> oh, there we go again. <laughs> that was that was the jumping left hand hook layup. We saw him miss yeah. on that hook shot. Probably. Oh, Brandon Ducasse gets their first three pointer of the night. It's Ron Ducasse, and that's the first lead of the game for Hebraica. Drive by Balbi, high off the glass and in. Pretty drive by Franco Balbi. Really shifted it from his right side to his left, away from the shot blocker. Excellent job. Rodi out between the rings. Actually standing in one of the rings. Skip step to his left. Shot clock at seven. Rodi dribbling, dribbling. Puts up the floater. No. Auto on the attack. That kind of looked like a clean block there, but uh, either way, I think uh, Machado should have went all the way up, just laid it in. And I like being unselfish, but you should lay that in. No one was there. And Ducasse got Galvanini across the arm, and now Ducasse with one foul. So the two bigs for Hebraica Maccabi with three fouls already. As Galvanini hits the first free throw, he's a 50% free throw shooter coming into this one. He's 50% on that trip, and the lead stays at 9-7. to seven. Six and a half minutes to play in this first quarter. Williams over to Ducasse, now into the corner for Golan Gut, a little too tall for him. 
I come here from off his right hand and I'm bound to be the ball. Yeah, you can look. They're looking to maybe post up Ogilvy now, who is uh, another good post player that, uh, you know, now that Hassel's off, he has more room inside to go to work. Yeah, Ogilvy might struggle against Devin Scott, though. Sox, uh, Scott at six foot nine. A little bit of beef on him. Although Scott has since sat down. Galvanini, bounce pass, fade away, shot won't go. I believe that was Didi Luzada on the miss, it was. Rodi working on Luzada, works his way into the paint. <laughs> well, I guess there's no, there's no paint in the paint. Throws up that shot and draws the foul. That's uh he faked like 20 times, but at the end, the defense reached in and bailed him out. But, you know, he was faking himself covered. Uh, fake, 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 fake. <laughs> but he got to the free throw line. 45 of six from the stripe heading into this game. Hits the first. Call that banana yellow or canary yellow? Uh, uh, I think it's uh, dealer's choice, but uh, looks more banana to me. Oh, nearly stolen away by Jordan Williams, and he thinks it went off of Flamengo. Shouldn't did he make, make the, the sign uh, for a player like everybody else? <laughs> I was just going to say, did not make the review signal, though. <laughs> oh, that's a... Uh, yeah. Tied at nine Unusual. with five and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Probably not a... Not one that they'll review. Offensive rebound by Galvanini. And now the reach-in by Golan Gut. Basket will not count. No continuation. Am I seeing that right? Was that the first three-point attempt in this game from Flamengo? I believe so. They've been going inside. It was, yeah. It was Martin Martin Cuello shooting a robust 14% from beyond the arc. Did not hesitate <laughs> to pull the trigger on that one. Good. Feeds it into the post. Cutter Ducasse goes left and comes back right, and this is the jump hook. Tied at nine inside five minutes to play first quarter. Cuello back over to Manfio. He launches another three and misses. Manfio that was another one of those. Manfio two of 18 from beyond the arc now. Boy, as, soon as, Cueo and, as soon as Cueo and Manfio get into the game, they start putting up the threes, <laughs> and they're over yeah. two. Stolen away by Perotti. Takes it all the way himself. Splits two defenders. Gets the layup, and Abraika Maccabi back on top, 11-9. You're not going to stop the ball. That. He'll take it the whole way. I think time to put Devin Scott back in the game and start posting up again. <laughs> let's let's go back to what works, gentlemen. Another three. That one by Luzada. Another miss. Wilson shot missed. Cuello. Here's Ogilvy at the other end, guarded by Galvanini. Ernesto. Oh, strong work by Ernesto Ogilvy. He's just tough inside. To dribble down, power him down, and power to the basket for a, a nice bucket. A little 6 0 run here by Hebrecht and Maccabi to take the lead. Three on the way, another miss. <laughs> that one from Galvanini. Another miss. <laughs> Galvanini, 25% heading into this game from the three-point line. And a 
a good no call there as he was trying to draw the charge. Could have gotten called for the flop. And oh, there's a little shoulder in that one. Oh, I don't know about it. I'd like yeah, to there see was. that one over no, no question. No question. <laughs> Let's shoot another three. three. Oh, that one is kind of hey. right the that one. There we go. The problem with that is it's encouraging to shoot more threes. <laughs> <laughs> one of six from beyond the three-point arc now for Domingo in this round. They're going to go right back to Ogilvy working on Galvanini. Gets it out to Perotti. He drives, a little bounce pass to Ducasse. He draws the foul. That's going to be on Kyle Manfield. Nice little 8 0 run there by Hebraica Maccabi. And they did that. They, sorry, Craig, they, they did that run by going into Ogilvy in the post, right? They just pounded it into him and. He got to the free throw line and he finished. And you know, I, it's mind-boggling to me and kind of frustrating as a coach to see the success that both teams have when they can feed the post, uh, but they forget to do it so often. It's uh, because it's a very effective strategy for both teams. Ducasse to the free throw line. He has not shot a free throw yet in this tournament. And this is the first. It's a cute little puppy he's got on his right tricep there. Usually you see athletes with intimidating type tattoos. <laughs> what would you what would be your tattoo, Craig? Do you, you know, have a tattoo? I do not. I'm actually tattoo free. I was gonna get one uh, kind of in the mid nineties when I was in grad school when tattoos first started becoming a thing and I could decide what I wanted. I never could decide what I wanted. So I never got anything. You could go to the classic barbed wire. Yeah, I don't have I don't have much in the way of biceps anymore, unfortunately. I've been uh, thinking about freaking out Michael and Brian, my, my two sons, and getting a tattoo this for this summer and uh, <laughs> I, I saw like a rim and a net uh, and put some in their initials in there for the kids and my wife. There you go. Maybe I might do. I might do that. Who knows? Crossover dribble stolen away, and here comes Flamengo. Ije Dotto finishes with the left hand. And the attitude of switch, right? Since Devin has been in the game. They can't post up Ogilvy. They have come out triple three, which you made it, but it's a different, a different look now. Ogilvy three of eight from beyond the arc in this tournament now. Leodato from way outside. Jordan Williams the rebound. Jordan Williams has been quiet in this one so far, but you know he has the ability to turn it on. I think he started off last night's game a little quiet as well. He did, and he took over in the second half. For Wednesday's game, I should say. It was yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Flamengo and Boca last night. That was an entertaining game, even though the score was relatively low. Tried to get it into Scott. Intercepted. Here comes Williams now. Little Euro. Right hand, no. Williams steals it away. Goes up, jams it home with two hands. Jordan Williams would not be denied on that possession. You got you woke him up, Craig. You woke him up. <laughs> 20 seconds to play in this first quarter. Machado, cross court pass, three on the way. That's good. Oh, Manfio has his second three pointer of the first quarter. Shot clock and the first quarter comes to an end. Fabrica leads Flamengo by the score of 20 to 17. Some good basketball this first quarter. Flamengo started out cold from beyond the arc. But both teams effective at working the ball inside as we look at the shooting numbers on this one early on. Hebraica 
Seven of 15 from the floor overall. Two of six from the arc. Four of six from the stripe. For Flamengo, five of 14 overall, 35.7%. Two of eight from three-point land. Five of six from the free throw line. Seven rebounds for Flamengo, 11 for Hebraica Maccabi. Ernesto Ogilvy, seven points for Hebraica. Jordan Williams just had his first two. He's already got six rebounds, though, does Jordan Williams. So I'd say he's well on his way to a double-double. I can't imagine Jordan Williams scoring fewer than 10 points in this one. Juan Ducasse, three points, three boards. Franklin Hassel, two points, went out early in foul trouble. And Luciano Perotti, six points, three assists already. For Flamengo, Guillermo Deodato, two points. Scott Machado, two boards, two assists. Kyle Manfio, six points on two of three shooting from three-point range. Devin Scott, six points. And he caused three fouls at least. Franco Balbi has two. Gabriel Galvanini, one. And that rounds out the scoring for Flamengo. And, Paul, we talked about it in the pregame, and we saw it early on. Flamengo went to Galvanini and Devin Scott in the paint early, and that paid off for them when they started shooting three-pointers. That's when Hebraica Maccabi went on their run. And then at the end of the quarter, Flamengo drew a little closer, but still a nice first quarter for Hebraica Maccabi. Yeah, and they, uh, you know, they went to Devin Scott early and often, and he's one for one and four for four from the free throw line. Very effective. Uh, and it got Hassel in foul trouble. But then when they took him out of the game for a short period of time, they kind of forgot their identity and, uh, you know, went away from that. And, uh, you know, I, I would think they'd go back to that. And I would look for Gabriel uh, Galvanini to come up. He, he's had a very quiet game so far, and uh, I can see him maybe uh, – uh, getting some buckets and uh, getting his game going in this second quarter. Underway here in this second quarter. They kick it out to the corner for three for Luzada. He missed. Two on one. Jordan Williams blocked. Ooh, they're going to say and then a foul. I thought for a moment they were going to they whistled a goaltend, but evidently they called the push. So it was a clean block on the Williams layup attempt. It was close to a goal attempt for sure, yeah. Yeah, Gustavo Conti furious about something. Let's see what happened here. Williams missed. There's Romero. Romero gets pushed. He goes down. He goes down yeah. like... Uh, no, he goes down like a like a 300-pound guy pushed him. I don't know. Maybe he just landed awkward on that knee, and that'll oh, that'll cause you, yeah, that'll cause you to go down awkwardly if you land awkwardly on a knee. And uh, it looks like he has a wrap on there or something. So that might have been what happened. Well, but he's holding the other knee. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. He went yeah, down awkwardly yeah. on that left left leg. And he yeah, immediately knew that. it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and you hate to see that. And well, Romero. And sometimes, sometimes, Craig, when you have a problem with your one knee, your other knee has to overcompensate. And uh, that might have happened there. And he landed mostly on his left knee, which came out on him. Yeah. Believe me, well, Romero, I, have two bad, I have two bad knees. Actually, one is uh, a replacement, so it's not as bad anymore. <laughs> Yeah, partially robotic now. You and me no. both. I got a hip. Romero, a 31 yeah. years old. He had five points and five assists against Flamengo in December, and he is unable to put any pressure on that left leg. You hate to see that. We certainly wish Manuel Romero the best, and don't know if we'll see him again this one, but let's hope the training staff can do something with that knee. Brian Garcia yeah, into the game now for Maccabi. He was kind of the heart and soul, too. A 
big welcome into our viewers in the USA on FanDuel TV in South America on Direct TV and across the rest of the world on the BCL America's YouTube channel. It's his rebound, and hey, there's that left-hand jump hook by Gabriel Galvanini. Finally connects with it. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's when three. he's in his range. Well, if you push him out a few feet, I think he really struggles, but when he's in there, that's automatic that that close to the range. Ogilvy spinning. Tried to go around the defense of Kyle Manfio and came up short. So now Flamengo with a chance to take the lead back. Wide open for three. That missed. Williams the rebound. Perotti calls the play out. Good. As it's stolen away, pocket just picked by Guy Deodato, and then Deodato draws the foul at the other end. Cookies. Yeah, he just took it from him. He's a little casual taking that pass, but it's a good play set up. Guy Deodato said, yoink. And then, and then he's, instead of getting back on defense, he's just uh, arguing with the ref. And that never helps. Never? Never. Unless you have a whistle, <laughs> you don't get the last say in basketball. <laughs> Certainly not on a fast break the other way. Doesn't help much. Yeah, Donna, it's I've, never, free throw. I've, I've never seen a player argue with a ref and the ref taking back his call. <laughs> Without the replay. You know what? Oh, yeah. You know what? Oh, yeah, you're, my bad. You're here. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, my bad. I made the wrong call. <laughs> Deodato hits both free throws. Yeah, he was pretty quiet last night. Or two nights ago. And a, and a 7 0 run by Flamengo. Rody up top to Hassel back into the game after getting those two early fouls. Now Williams for three. Oh, there goes Jordan Williams. Here he comes. He's got five. Hassel the rebound. Rody into the front court. Ooh, looked like he dragged that back foot. Hassel works his way into 14. Puts up kind of an awkward shot there. And now here comes Flamengo. Machado, his pass tipped by Williams, but controlled by Deodato. Deodato's pass goes between the legs of Galvanini and out of bounds. That will be a break of ball. Yeah, and it's about to put Devin Scott back in because the hassle's back in. And he got a, 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 get another big in there to, to help on him on the glass. Hassle with two fouls. Pick those up early, defending Devin Scott. Rody, 10 on the shot clock, shakes his defender, dribbles it off his foot, gets it back, high off the glass, no. Down to Devin Scott, hmm, look at that. <laughs> high off the glass and good, and Franklin Beautiful Hassel wanted move. no part of that. He didn't want to try to pick up a third foul there, but Scott's got it. That, that was a perfect look over your right shoulder, pivot to your left shoulder, and finish with a nice kiss off the glass. Beautiful postman. Hassel trying to do the same thing. He goes off the glass and it falls in. Hassel now with four. Bracket back on top by two. Perotti says, give me that. Three on one for Maccabi. And Ogilvy has his shot blocked. And I never saw a signal. I don't think the officials knew what to call. 
They're going to say, what did you see? Hay cambio de break en la cabina, número 35, San Diego Calimares. I never saw anybody make a call. No, I know they didn't call a foul on this. No. Which was a foul. <laughs> I mean, that was a foul. He hit his arm right there. <laughs> he said it stayed with McCovey. Three on the way. That's good. Luciano. Luciano Perros. Lead back to five at 28-23. And Gustavo Conti wants timeout. So a good break for Fabrica Maccabi. Get possession of that blocked shot out of bounds. Eu não entendo o porquê da falta de confiança. Scott, você se meteu aqui dentro, parou o drible, passou a bola, pegou na orelha do cara do Maccabi. Gui, você se meteu de novo, passou de novo aqui pra fora da quadra. Agora, Scott, você se meteu. Quantos passos entraram do Devon aqui agora no short roll? E nós vamos ficar passando pra ele? Nós vamos ficar passando? Nós vamos ficar passando. Vamos ficar passando. O, o Parodi, ele roubou a bola. Isso quer dizer o quê? Quem tava te defendendo? Se o Parodi roubou a bola, quem tá te defendendo? Eu te mostrei o vídeo hoje. Mostrei ou não mostrei? Mostrei o vídeo, você tem que dar um arremesso, o Devon tá entrando de frente pro rebote. Vamos, vamos mais lucidez aqui, mais lucidez, por favor, cara. Não tá difícil o jogo. O Parodi, o Parodi não passa bem nos bloqueios, encaixa bem. O primeiro ele passa por baixo, joga ele vai arremessar livre. Tudo bem, não? Scott, arremessa a noite inteira, por favor. A noite inteira. Vai, 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 vambora, vambora. We're also talking about defending Luciano Parodi. Gustavo Conti just always so even in the huddles. So we look at the gorgeous shot by Devin Scott. Yeah, you got to step up on there. You can't let him shoot that three like that. That's what, that's what Oladi was talking about. Get up in his face. So Hebraica Maccabi on top by five. And did I see that right? Flamengo shooting 17% from the three or something like that? Scott Just went up a couple of points there. As Scott Machado hits the three pointer. Now three of 13 from three point range for Flamengo. To break a four of nine. Nice high low action there against the zone. Very nice. Philip Hobity gets his first two points. Philip Hobity's a guy who's been pretty streaky in this tournament so far, and now Leonardo Zilberstein wants timeout. Philip Hovody no, averaged 5.3 points and 2.3 rebounds. He had nine and four. And that was just a perfect way to attack the zone. You hit the inside at the top of the key or the free throw line, and then you dump it down to the baseline low post guy and finish with a nice little finish. To way, great way to attack the zone. Flamengo's biggest lead in this game has been two. Breca led by six at 20 to 14 in the first quarter. Flamengo led by one just a few moments ago, and we are now tied up at 28 following this little 5 0 run by Flamengo. And Craig, we've seen these teams before, but, uh, you know, uh, with the addition. Um, of Devin Scott or El Flamingo, who really evens out the most play and we're seeing some really good basketball here. 
Well, it, yeah, it completely changes the dynamic between these two teams. Santiago Calimares uh, running the point out for Flamengo as Franklin Hassel scores from in close. He's got six now. Hassel saying, I got a hook shot too. Yeah. Gets in on that little party. Machado. Well, that is good. Nice little pull up floater there. 440 to play second quarter. Federico Haller, and that is good. One of those veterans for the Brighton Hobby, 35 years old. Uruguayan national team. And then Machado at the other end answers. Machado just solid mid-range game. Little pull-ups. 16, 17 feet. It's like cash money for him. I was just going to say, you can make a lot of money making those shots nowadays. Yep. Not many people do it. Castle trying to work on Scott. Gets it outside to Haller. He shoots again short with the shot clock winding down. And now Flamingo. Well, they lost Philip Hovity. He was in the corner. Tapped the baseline and drew the foul. Yeah, Jordan Williams was on defense on him and just left him to get the ball, it looked like. Looked like he was expecting somebody else to get the ball cutting. And went to cut yeah, that off. And In transition defense, you get back and pick up any man. You know, I, I, when, as a coach, a transition defense, you hear players say, well, I, that's not my man. Yeah, if you pick him up, it's your guy in transition. Everybody just get a guy. Yeah. And I was watching that, Craig, and Jordan Williams just left him in that corner. <laughs> just left him to go get his guy. Well, Filipovity missed both free throws. Smart play on defense by Jordan Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half minutes to play second quarter now. Ogilvy working on Luzada. Williams steps back, launches the tray, and another foul on a three-point attempt. This one's going to be on Marco Filipovity. And so Jordan Williams will go to the free throw line for three. Drives the coach crazy foul. Fouling the three fouling any shooter, but a three-point shooter especially drives coaches crazy. Filipovity has a seat on the bench. I believe that was Filipovity's second foul. Nope, just his first. Third free throw up and through for Jordan Williams. He strokes all three, and it's a two-point lead now for Hebraica Maccabi. Jordan Williams with seven points. He's also got seven rebounds. Three on the way from Manfio. That is short. Rebound kicked out to Cuello. He hasn't seen a three-pointer he hasn't liked. <laughs> Morris backing it out, getting it to Ogilvy, Ogilvy working on Galvanini in a whistle. Second defender personal number nine, Gabriel Jau. Tercera colectiva, Flamengo. Cambio, Flamengo 22, Demont Scott. Hey, Craig, I'm going to say it again. and uh, We talked about this before the game, that Flamengo shot three for 24 from the three last game 12 percent and then they come out this game and they're shooting three for 15 20 percent but they keep shooting threes it, it's a little mind-boggling to me well shooter's gonna shoot 
Ogilvy with five on the shot clock. Trapped along the baseline, stolen out of there by Luzada. And that time, Cuello thought better of it. He <laughs> gave it up to Machado. He missed the three. But at least Cuello thought about it and passed up on the shot. Shooters shoot, but makers make. And they don't have many makers out there right now. Two and a half minutes to play. Alimaris to Ogilvy. Now Williams. Shot clock at eight. In fact, Ogilvy, he's got that range. Takes it into the lane, puts it up with the right hand, no. Machado, working on Calamaris, now backs it out. On the screen by Scott, steps back, launches the tray, nope. Three of 17 now. Please, please, please. Let's get a post for uh, <laughs> the guy. Please, 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 please. Please, for favor. Say it in Spanish, say it in Portuguese. Nope. Dado from the left elbow, no. Almares to Williams from way outside. Talk about a heat check shot. Okay, yeah, that was a heat check. That one was from about 28, 29 feet. Just getting out to some Rick Berry range there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Zada scores. It's one thing that a lot of players don't do today, Craig, is follow your shot. He followed the shot, got a nice little putback. Timeout by Hebreka Maccabi and Leonardo Zilberstein. We are tied back up at 34. Again, a big welcome in to all our viewers in the USA on FanDuel TV. In South America on DirecTV and around the rest of this great big wide world of ours on the BCL America's YouTube channel. Tomorrow, it's going to be Udek and Obras. As we move to Group D on the weekend, it's going to be Carlin Gay and Sam Brief along with my man Paul Mokeski on the calls this weekend. What better way to spend the weekend? Local time. Yeah. 6.40 well, p.m. Basketball. local time. 4.40 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. tomorrow. Take a look at the nice jumper by... The veteran Federico Haller. Didi Luzada on the miss, the follow, and the put back. Back underway following the timeout. Minute 15 to play in this second quarter. Been a back and forth affair. Neither team has built up a huge lead. Flamingo led by two. Rebecca led by six. Jordan Williams on the attack draws the foul. That's going to be on Kyle Manfio. And that's, that's a great job. Posting up Ogilvy, he draws the double team and then uh, kicks it out to Jordan Williams, who doesn't settle for a three-point shot, but drives to the basket and gets fouled. Smart, smart play. Jordan Williams, 31 years old. 
He had 15 points, eight boards against Flamengo in December. Jordan Williams, the second leading scorer in this tournament to this point at 21.7 points per game. He leads in efficiency at 24.3 per game. Jordan Williams. Because he also rebounds, right? He, he, he does everything. He rebounds, he'll pass the ball, and he's not a poor, uh, not a bad defender either. He does a little bit of everything. He's 21 of 23 from the free throw line in this tournament as well. Without a shot, misses, spun it off the glass, but an offensive rebound for Flamengo. That one high off the glass, and a tough shot there. Franco Balbi, he's got four. Yeah, great, At, great touch off the glass. In this yeah. second quarter. Herodi launches the three. That may have been one of those two for one shots. Maybe in his mind, but not on the clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought when he shot that, there were 25 seconds. Yeah, well, you want to shoot that with 35. Yeah. Yeah, when it hit the rim, there were far less. Chance at the end for Hebraica, but Locker rooms at halftime. Tied at the in that first half, of Reiko Maccabi, 12 of 30 overall from the floor, 4 of 11 from three-point range, 8 of 11 from the free-throw line. Flamengo, 13 of 34 overall. Three of 18 from three-point range. They're 62.5% from two-point range. And yet they've put up two more three-pointers than two-pointers. We might want to think about taking more two-pointers than threes, maybe. <laughs> uh, point that, if I'm coach at halftime, that number right there, I'm putting just what you said, Craig, that number is all I'm putting on the board. 62% from two point and 16% from three. We need to flip flop that. More twos, that's, more threes. That's not an, an anomaly for Flamengo either. From three point range, they haven't been able to hit water if they fell out of a boat in this tournament so far. Yeah. Rebounding I, I pedal, time, even at 20. And halftime adjustments. I, our key and that's a simple one to make let's drive it to the basket let's post up Devin uh, let's shoot more twos than threes gentlemen how about how about we focus on that in the second half and see what happens it reminds me of the old Rocky movie where actually Rocky 2 where Mickey is trying to get Rocky to switch to right-handed, and he wants him to jab the bag with his left arm 500 times. And Rocky says, oh, come on, Mick, I want to use my right arm. And Mick says, if you do, I'll cut it off. <laughs> that may be what Gustavo Conti wants to say to his three-point shooters. If you shoot another three-pointer, I'm going to cut your arm off. Here's a better Probably thing. If you, miss a, if you miss a three-pointer in the second half, you're coming out of the game. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That, that's probably it, more better. realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Craig, uh, years ago I took over a team in Moncton up in the Canadian League, and uh, they they were I think two and ten or something like that. And I just looked at the numbers, and uh, uh, I found out that uh, the bad shooters from the three were shooting all the threes, and the good shooters were hardly getting any threes. So. I, that was the first meeting I had. I said, look, I put their names up there. I put up what percentage they're shooting from the three. I said, if you're, if you're not shooting 33% from the three, uh, here's your list, then you don't need to take more than two or three threes in a game. 
If you're shooting 33% or more from the three, you can take as many threes as you want. And the way to get them with the 33 and above three point shooting is to make one of two, not to make two of six. So, <laughs> you know, and, and we won four or five in a row. It's, I just made that adjustment. Our good three-point shooters need to take more threes, and our bad three-point shooters need to take less threes. That's really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Williams with nine, Luciano Perotti with nine for Hebraica Maccabi, and for Flamengo. Devin Scott with eight, Scott Machado with seven, Kyle Manfio with six. We're tied at 36. This is the 2023-24 January window of BCL Americas. Live from Palacio Peñarol in Montevideo, we are back with fourth quarter action in just a few moments.
Welcome back to Palacio Peñarol in beautiful Montevideo, Uruguay. Tied up at halftime between Tabraca Maccabi and Flamengo at 36 in this Group C matchup. BCL America's play, January window. Started off with Group C. We'll be heading to Group D tomorrow. Udek and Obras will get things started for us. 6.40 p.m. local time, 4.40 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. Carlin Gay will have that game with my partner, Paul Mokeski. My name's Craig Feta. That one will take place in Concepcion in Chile. So, Paul, you better uh, better pack quickly tonight. Yeah, I got. Uh, I think I used in your private chat tonight. Oh, you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I did yeah. tell them to have it gassed up and ready for you. Yeah, here in Vegas. <laughs> Here's a, one thing I wanted to point out, Craig. Like we've been talking about uh, Flamengo and how they're struggling from the three again. They're shooting 16 percent, and you know, uh, Galvanini, one of their best players, obviously, only has three points. And now if I'm at halftime and I'm the coach, I'm saying, after all that, we're, we're still tied. So we can play so much better. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they come out here in the third quarter because uh, they haven't played an uh, exceptional game yet, and uh, the score is still tied. We are back underway. Well, on good starting the second half for Hebraica Maccabi. We saw Manuel Romero go out with that knee injury. Good into the game. Yeah, and that did not look good. Rodi. Brody gets it to Hassel. He goes with the left hand and it falls in. So I wrote it down, Paul. Red ink. 3 of 18 from three point range, 16.7% of the first half for Flamengo. They were 10 of 16 for 62.5% from two point range. So let's see if they're able oh, to, what they're able to yeah, finish with if, percentage wise. See, yep, see if they'll go down to the post a little bit more. Galvanini back up top. There's Machado. Shot clock at four. Galvanini for three. Nope. Rebound back tap. Save. No. Machado. Uh -huh. He even been able to yes. get that inbound. He stepped over the sideline on his jumping attempt. Yeah, the coach over there was kind of playing a little game with him. I might have run him over. <laughs> <laughs> he was playing a little game. He got the eye, uh, evil eye after that. Galvanini didn't bite on the spin move by Ogilvy. His long pass tipped out of bounds. And it'll stay with Abraka Maccabi with eight to shoot. Rodi to inbound, guarded by E. Deodato. Thrown off. Deodato's not wearing his yellow shoes tonight. The one and the seven on the back of these Flamengo jerseys, very similar. <laughs> and I always look for Guy's yellow shoes. He's got red kicks on tonight. And he hits that three-pointer from the corner. Maybe that'll take the lid off the three points here in the second half. We'll see. Because you know they'll keep shooting them. <laughs> well, yeah. Stole it away. Five quick points from Deodato. It's Flamengo up by three. That's their biggest lead of the game. They have come out with some energy in this first game. Williams says not so fast. He's got 11. Well, I don't know if it's just me, Craig, or not, but the pace of this game has picked up, it looks like. 
Yeah. Right. Or the energy level, yeah. Galvanini gets it to Olivinga. Just a relatively open shot of the paint there with the shot clock winding down. Ogilvy on the handoff to Good. Feeding Hassel down low. Hassel. Oh, oh tough shot. He's just punishing him in the paint. Olivia wanted the offensive foul call. Another three-pointer missed. Into the corner for good. He launches the three. Olivia the rebound. Interesting that Olivia's in there now and Scott isn't. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't I don't know if there's something there. They're just gonna save him for towards the end of the game and keep him out of foul trouble and keep him with energy. Deodato misses badly from three point range. Perotti. And we see him dribble it off his feet and his ankles. <laughs> Might need to work on a little ball handling drills here. He does have five that's assists. That. that was only his second turnover. So that's now that's that. My bad. Down. My bad turnover. My bad, coach. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Flamengo one of four from three-point range thus far in this third quarter. I guess that's a better percentage than they shot in the first. Galvanini, the shot blocked by Hassel. My goodness, a flat-footed Franklin Hassel blocked Galvanini. Yeah, I'll tell you too, uh, in the low post, you can't dribble in one spot and just go straight up on a bigger player. You have to move him side to side and get an advantage and get an angle, and or else he's just going to stand flat-footed and block that shot. Heck, with my, with my bad legs, I could have blocked that shot. <laughs> Move the defense side to side. Garcia to hassle back out to Garcia, but the pass tipped by Deodato. It'll be Hebraica ball with seven to shoot. Almost too unselfish. He had, he had a two, two more dribbles, could have dunked that. Perotti to inbound. Five to shoot now for Rody. Nobody moving. Perotti to floater. Boy, he had an open floater there from about seven feet away. <laughs> Elected to kick it out to Jordan Williams, and he could not pull the trigger in time. I think Williams was surprised by that. Yeah, it's, analytics doesn't say pass up a layup for a three. It says take a layup, and uh, that's mistaken a lot. And he had a wide open floater, and uh, instead he got a shot clock violation. I could see if a defender was in front of him. Three on the way from Mancio. Nope. There's the putback, though, Gide Adato. He's got 11 points now. Yeah, he's become a very active, especially on the glass. Williams. He launches the long three. Back iron. Rebound grabbed by Flamengo. Kick out to Deodato. He circles it back around and gets the offense reset for Balbi. Balbi pushed out near midcourt by Garcia. Shot clock at 10. No help coming. Balbi takes it himself. Balbi! Tough shot by Franco Balbi working it into the paint. Nice job by yeah, Balbi spread, to even get himself a shot off. Yeah, they spread the floor and he got a little floater off. Ogilvy blocked from behind. Great block. See who got a piece of that. Was it Galvanini? No, it's Manfield. From behind. Manfield now for three, and he ends it at the other end. And look at Gustavo Conti out on the floor. Yeah. 
He's all fired up. <laughs> the coach with uh, the mellow attitude gets fired up. I love to see that. Biggest lead of the game now for Flamengo at six points on the three-pointer by Kyle Manfio. Manfio now with nine. He's three of eight from the arc. Five of 24 overall for from Flamengo in this game. Leo Zilberstein takes timeout. And if you're just joining us and you are wondering why we keep talking about Flamengo's three-point shooting, well, frankly, they haven't been very good at it in this tournament. <laughs> Through three games, 25 of 108 for 23% coming into this one. In the first half, they were 3 of 18 for under 17%. And in the second half, so far, 2 of 6. And for the, the last game and a half... Six for 48. Actually, my bad. Eight for 48. Much better. Yeah. To get those uh, extra but, percentage points in there. Huh. But if you hit timely ones... Uh, <laughs> They can give you a little false security, maybe. Yeah. Well, Flamingo on top now by six. Biggest lead of the game. Let's see how Rekha Maccabi answers. Hassel down to Ogilvy. Back outside to Garcia. Down to Ogilvy. Shot clock at eight. Started by Manfio and draws the foul. Yeah, I'm not... That was a, I don't know if that was a foul or not, but uh, that's a tough double team to double team the post coming from the baseline side. Like it's tough to get over there. Foul was on Galvanini. Ogilvy misses the first free throw. Foul number two on Gabriel Galvanini. And Craig, I don't, I don't know if I'm right or not, but I don't think we've seen Devin Scott this whole third quarter. Minutes and 53 seconds in that first quarter as, oh my goodness, Gabriel Galvanini with emphasis on that one. Get another look at this one. Balbi, the bounce pass to Galvanini. He rolls to the bucket. Cambio, just checks that one. Cambio. We were talking about yeah, Devin good. Scott. He had eight points, two boards in the first half. Very effective early on. Doesn't have any fouls. I don't know if he's injured or they're arresting him or he said something at halftime. I don't know. But I guess, I can't imagine you know, they, match start, up is. No, they started the game, their third quarter without him, and they're doing well. So sometimes as a coach, you just let it ride to half time. So Galvanini for three. After the dunk, he lights it up from long range. And it's a 10-point lead for Flamengo. Biggest lead of the game for either team. And Galvanini has come alive and taken to the basket, dunking it, hitting threes. And, uh, you know, he had a very, very quiet first half. So uh, it's good to see him come alive here in the third quarter. Just like that, Gigi's got eight points, six rebounds. He's also got six assists. Three minutes to play, third quarter, good. Luciano! Oh, wow! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Brody! Wow. Circus shot there. Damn the okie doke there. I love it. That's what you work out on the playground when nobody's around. <laughs> Ooh. And a moving yes. screen call against 
Galvanini. That's, that's, that's a, a tough call right there. Right? Yeah. yeah. It kind of looks to me like the ref was looking to make that call. <laughs> the same thing was running through my head. I think he was anticipating Galvanini moving into that, and he actually ended up not moving into it. Sometimes it, the uh, the coach will say, hey, watch moving picks out there, and puts that in the referee's head. And Devin Scott's back in the game. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, keep an eye on him. See if he's how he's moving. Three pointer missed, rebounded by Franco Balbi. That seems to be moving okay in those pink trim yep. sneakers. Franco. Balbi the floater, yes! That was a pretty step through move. That was really nice. Lead back to 10, and Leonardo Zilberstein wants timeout again. 55-45. Yeah, Hebraka Maccabi. Hebraka Maccabi 19-9 in this third quarter so far. Yeah, they just seem disassociated or discombobulated, and they got to get back into their, you know, their game plan of, you know, posting up uh, guys and uh, Ogilvy in out inside outside play, and you know, get the get the ball to Jordan Williams, and uh, you know, get back to playing your game here. And uh, they, they haven't done it for most of this third quarter. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it seems like they've gone away from Jordan Williams. It looked like our camera got pushed out of the huddle there by an assistant coach. <laughs> yeah, can't do that. So if from Maccabi's coach right here, you want to drop a play coming out of this timeout, which is an ATO, as we know. Uh, maybe for Jordan Williams setting a pick and roll with Ogilvy or something. Get some action with, with your best players. I would imagine we're going to see something from Jordan Williams here shortly. We know he can take a game over. Don't forget, Tabraca playing without Manuel Romero. They're starting, starting two guard. Went out with that knee injury in the first. And that may be the source of some of this discombobulation. For Hebraica. And off to Goot. Back to Ogilvy. Shot clock at seven. Brody can't shake his defender. Dodato staying with him. Brody trying to make something happen. Puts it up from 20 back iron. No, but the offensive rebound by Juan Ducasse. Good for three. No. Ogilvy the offensive rebound. Ogilvy for three. No. <laughs> Those usually go into yeah. off, off rebounds. Yeah. <laughs> they can't yeah, find the, the perfect. Leonardo Zilberstein wanted there. And just like that, Franco Balbi hits the three-pointer, and the lead is 13. Good. Throws the lob up to... Ogilvy a little too high for him and a little too far away from the bucket. Now's a two for one here. He get off in the next 10 seconds. A foul against Ogilvy away from the ball. A little frustration from uh, uh, Rock of Maccabi here. They're getting a little frustrated out there. And you can see it in their faces and in their body. And their assistant coach. <laughs> camera guy out. Forty seconds to play. Ten on the shot clock. Belby around the screen by Devin Scott. He rolls now up top to Lozada. Spins, fades away. No. Ivan Ducasse. Williams. The hassle in the paint. Working on Scott. Hassle. 
trucks his way down, and Gustavo Conti wanted a travel call, but instead of foul. They're going to say it was a foul was shot. From the shot. Yeah. Uh, it's not a travel. Tough. Looked like it. No, it was tough to see from that angle, though. First foul on Scott. Are they in the penalty? Yep. Hassel from the free throw line tonight, two of two. Six of eight overall on the event. So make or miss, uh, Flamengo should get the last shot of this quarter, no matter what. Second free throw for Hassel is good. Nineteen point nine to play. The shot clock will be off. And That'll be picked up by Santiago Calimares. Calimares. Reaches in and commits the foul. Calimaris, a lot more playing time tonight. He only had two minutes against Flamengo in their first game. But with the injury to Manuel Romero, Leonardo Silverstein has had to go deeper into his bench. Calimaris, seven minutes of action in this one so far. Now Lotaro Viatri checks in. He's only played two minutes in this entire event. The 18-year-old Argentine. Oh, quick move. Galvanini, the lightning quick move to get around Williams, but could not finish. Now good for three. Short. And the third quarter will come to an end with Flamengo on top by the score of 58. To 46, Flamengo outscores Abraica Maccabi in that third quarter. 22-10. rebounds. Juan Ducasse, 3.6 boards. Federico Haller, 2 points. Franklin Hassel, 11 points, 3 rebounds. Ernesto Ogilvy, 8 points, 5 boards. Luciano Perotti, 11 points, 5 assists. And Manuel Romero left the game after 5 minutes and 50 seconds of action with 3 rebounds and an injured knee. For Flamengo, Franco Balbi now with 11 points, 4 assists. Gideo Dotto, 11 points, 4 rebounds. Gabriel Galvanini, 8 points, 7 rebounds. Didi Luzada, 2 points. Kyle Manfio has nine on three of eight shooting from three-point range. Marco Filipovity, two points. Scott Machado, seven. Devin Scott, eight points, three rebounds. Flamengo leads by 12, 56-48 as we head to the fourth quarter at Palacio Peñarol in Montevideo. We are back with fourth quarter action in just a moment.
Alongside Paul Mokeski, I'm Craig Feta. We head to the fourth quarter with Flamengo on top. Uh, Fabrika Maccabi, 58-46. One point off of their biggest lead of the game, 13 in that third quarter. Flamengo outscored Fabrika Maccabi in that third frame, 22-10. And only well, shot you are threes and made four. Yep, I was just going to get to that in just a moment. And there's another one. Five of nine from three-point range in the second half for Flamengo. That one, Franco Balbi, he's got 14. Biggest lead of the game now at 50, Jordan Williams. Tried to draw the foul after the long jump shot along the baseline. Again, a big welcome to our viewers in the USA on FanDuel TV across South America. And around the rest of the world on the BCL America's YouTube channel. Ogilvy drives on Olivia. Can't finish with the left hand. Williams tipping. Ogilvy gets it back and now out of bounds. There, it's going to say it's off of Flamengo, and there's the call for the replay that we'd love to see. As Guillermo ends up on the deck. Take your pardon, that's Luzada. Paul, if you are Hebraica Maccabi in this fourth quarter, trailing by 15, just 46 points to this point, what do you have to do to get the offense moving again? you got to get the ball in the back of the hands of Jordan Williams and your best players and let them go to work and, uh, you know, have them make the impact that you, you have them on the team for. Ogilvy after the miss by Calamares. He can't score. And if you look at the quarter-by-quarter -quarter output by Hebraica Maccabi, 20 points, 16 points, 10 points. So Flamengo really clamping down defensively. As Golan Wood commits his second foul. Starting to get a little physical out there, a little chippy, it looks like. Which team do you think that favors? Well, at some point, uh, it favors the team that's down because they're trying to stir up the pot and make some different changes and change the momentum of this game. But, uh, you know, that's when you have to, as a team, you have to really focus on don't let that bother you, just keep going. Uh, and doing what you do to get you this. That's what Flamingo has to do. Uh, keep doing what they did to get this lead. Interesting exchange there at center court between Guy Deodato and Carlos Olavilla. Two national team veterans. Olavilla at 40 years old, Deodato at 32. Talking about, I'm not sure what they were talking about. They were certainly talking about something defensively. Which as a coach you love, because most most players like to talk about what they're doing offensively. <laughs> so Ogilvy whistled for the unsportsmanlike. And Galvanini will go to the free throw line. This is the first. Second free throw up and good, and Flamengo will get the ball. Galvanini now with nine. Santiago Calamares has a seat. 
Balby gets the offense set up for Flamingo. There's that one in the corner. There's Deodato. Shot clock up one. Puts it up. Short. Gets his no. Couldn't track it down in the corner. Yeah, it took them too long to get in their uh, action there, and they just had to throw up a shot to uh, beat the shot clock instead of uh, executing and getting a decent shot. To Rody. Out to Ogilvy. Now Williams. Williams on the attack. Foul and scores the bucket. And that's a... That's a veteran move right now. They ran the horn set, and then Ogilvy cut it at the top. Instead of trying to make a play, he dribbled in and off with their best player, Jordan Williams, and let him make the play. And he's got a chance for a three-point play here. That's a veteran move by Ogilvy. Third foul on Didi Lozada as Williams hits the free throw. They back down to 12. He's now with 14. They didn't need to foul there. They needed to stop. And they had the little guard in a tough position. And uh, they, they kind of bailed them out here. It's a tough call, but it's a little reaching. And the refs always call that. Yeah, Perotti would have had a tough time putting that up over Franklin Hassel. I beg your pardon, Balby would have had a tough time putting it up over Franklin Hassel. And then Perotti yeah. guilty of the reaching. First free throw, good. Now, we've been in this position a lot of different games where uh, Havraka Maccabi can't afford to just trade baskets here. They need defensive stops and scores both. Foul on Ideodato. Inside eight minutes to play in this fourth quarter. Hassel. Hand off to Williams. He puts up the three. Contact no call as he went up over the flat footed Luzada. Had Luzada been whistled for that foul, that would have been his fourth. Yeah, Jordan Williams kind of got frustrated and forced up a shot there, thinking he might have got yeah, fouled to get a call, but it didn't happen. He was not going to be denied a shot on that possession as Perotti whistled for another infraction. That's his third. Now to Breika, 14 foul. I just love how Guy Deodato becomes more and more alive as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. He's that player. He's that type of player. And now a foul on Gut. Tercera falta personal número tres, gol a Gut. Yeah, I understand on defense you're trying to make something happen and reach in, but at some point you got to stop. They're in the penalty, you got to stop fouling players that are 40 feet yeah. from the basket. Yeah. And they go out scoring Hebreka Maccabi. 28 13 in the second half. Free throw by Machado is up and good, and he's got eight.
Second free throw a little too strong. Hassel the rebound. Ogilvy guarded by Galvanini. Kase awkward shot from 15, but Hassel the offensive rebound gets fouled going back up. Yeah, and I understand uh, uh, Flamengo has you know gone with this lineup and they're doing good, but now with uh, Hassel owning the offensive glass again, uh, it's probably time for Devin. Uh, uh, Scott to come back in the game and get a physical body in there. Kyle Manfio sits down. He's got four fouls and almost as if you were peering into a crystal ball there, partner. Devin Scott back on the floor. <laughs> I've, I've been in that situation when someone's owning the offensive glass, you got to get a big physical body in there to get the rebound. <laughs> Both free throws good. The lead is 14. The lead 16 just a moment ago was the biggest of the game. Franklin Hassel now with 13 points. He also has five rebounds. Now Balbi. Open three from the left side. No good. Boy, oh boy, if you're Flamengo, you don't want to shoot yourself out of this one. Absolutely. Going to work the ball, get it in the post, and... Inside out, kick out for a three is okay, but pulling up for a three is not a good idea at this point. You got a nice lead, you, you got to protect it. Williams gets it inbounds. Gets it back from Ducasse. Parodi outside hey, Ducasse for three. That's good! Hey, Ducasse! On Ducasse, he's got six. The lead down to 11. Really nice execution of your offense, your motion, move the ball, swing the ball side to side, get a wide open three. Shot off the glass, no rebound, tipped around and controlled by Flamengo. That would have been a huge defensive rebound. Open three by Balbi, missed. Oh boy. That at last possession. Oh. <laughs> Rody. And worse than that, he and shot it early in the shot clock. Yeah. I mean, that's everything at you least, don't want to do. Burn 20, at least burn 20 seconds off of it. Yeah, and, you know, that's just that's smart. Ba you got to play ball. smart basketball. And I'm not sure what Balbi was smiling at after that. He committed the foul. Get the lead under double digits. And he took a bad three at the other end. So the first free throw is up and good for Gianno Parodi. Second one is good and the lead down to nine with six minutes to play. Plenty of time for Hebraica and the fans here in Palacio Peñarol starting to make some noise. There you go. Get it to the big fella, roll into the basket, let him shoot free throws. I think he's four for four today. And protect your lead that you have that you've earned. Second on Ogilvy, and that's his third. I beg your pardon, it just, they called that on Perotti. Our graphics show that it was on Perotti. Yes, indeed. It was on Luciano Perotti. That's his fourth. Perotti, the primary ball handler for Hebraica Maccabi, with Manuel Romero off the floor due to injury. If you're Leonardo Zilberstein, Paul, how long do you leave Perotti in this game? That was good. Yeah, you, you, it depends on how, what kind of secondary ball, third secondary ball handler you have. 
And, uh, you know, unless you trust him not to foul, you got to give him a couple minutes here and then get him back in to finish the game. But we'll see what happens. How about that? Franklin Hassel whistled for the foul on the rebound. That's his third. Oh, yeah, I like to see that. Sportsman like because of the elbow. Yeah, I like to see that over again. I think they are oh, going to look at it. They're going to do the replay. We love replays. <laughs> this is a big call right here. It could change it really the, is. The of the team. I mean, there's a lot of time left, 5:45, but at the same point, you know, this this is a big call. Oh, yeah, he threw fuck. that elbow into the chest. Yeah, but no, I mean, uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah it, right. it wasn't. It it wasn't. It wasn't that hard, but it was definitely not just holding the arm out to hold him back. It was definitely not an arm bar. It was an elbow, no, it was albeit a, not a hard it was a one. Yeah, it was a shot, yeah. And so Galvanini what immediately I, turns around and looks uh, at the official. It's what drives coaches crazy, Craig. That's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. But does that rise to the level of an sportsman like? Mm. I don't know if he even connects it, but just the action. Why do that? Yeah. Yeah, that was, I mean, there's no question it was clearly intentional. It was the not delivered right with the intent to injure. I think this call stands. I think this is an unsportsmanlike. If I were a betting I man. Agree. I, I agree. Nope, common Oops. foul, it looks like. You got a little lucky there, but still. It, yeah, that surprises that's, me a little bit. You don't often see them reverse an unsportsmanlike. And they're shooting free throws, right? They're in the penalty. Well, Gal yeah, Galvanini will be shooting. It was just a matter of whether or not Flamengo was going to get the ball out of bounds on the side after the free throws. Still just a silly, yep. silly move by Hassel. Yeah. Free throw good by Galvanini. what this does for both of these two teams here. Does this suck the wind out of the sails of the Bracca Maccabi? And does it buoy Flamengo even further? We shall see. Galvanini hits one of two, and then at the other end, a shooting foul. I think that's going to be on Franco Balbi. And Hassel did the, the smart thing here, and he gave him another elbow. <laughs> yeah, he but, did, that one. <laughs> yeah. But at this point, you know the refs are looking, so go strong, and they're going to give you that call every time. That and you're going to get your juice from free throws. Free throw is good by Hassel. Balbi. Lead at 11. A three pointer with 10 left on the shot clock. A miss, and Scott couldn't corral the rebound. Offensive rebound. Here's Perotti. Yes, yes, yes. Back. Euro oh, through the lane up and in. I did it 
Nice drive to the basket. With five oh two to play. Luciano Perotti now with 15 points. He's also got six assists. Gustavo Conti takes time out. Passamos no apoio. Já vou ficar do lado que a bola vai, tá? Fica do lado que a bola vai, aqui desse lado. Começa do mesmo lado do Devon. A bola aqui, passe aqui. O Devon vai cortar e a gente tem ou aqui ou o skip, tá bom? Ou já vou. Ou já vou aqui. Se o, se o, o Grêmio está ajudando lá dentro, é o passe no Jaú e outro arremesso do Jaú, tá bom? Vai cair, vai cair. Na sequência, na sequência, se o Jaú, se você tem a bola e não conseguiu arremessar, você vem, bloqueio e pop. O Jaú vai fazer pop sempre, tá? Aí no pop, Jaú, tem duas opções, ou arremesso ou então o drive de novo, tá bom? Nós já, nós já estouramos falta, vamos defender forte, sem botar eles no lance livre de qualquer... É, é, sabe? Olha só, olha só, da outra vez, eu fiquei bem, ele voltou duas horas. Ele voltou duas horas, nós estamos aí. E agora, com cinco minutos de jogo, eles estão voltando a um nine-point deficit. As we look at the three from the corner from Juan Ducasse. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who they go to here in the timeout. They're, you know, they're, they're uh, it's a, you know, a nice little timeout, call a play, uh, maybe post up uh, uh, Devin Scott or uh, Galvanini and, you know, get a good shot here is important for uh, Flamengo. Albi's got it. Pass into the corner. Back outside to Galvanini. Five to shoot. Somehow Luzada ended up with it. Oh, and Franklin Hassel. Got his hand on it as the ball was going out of bounds. It'll stay with Flamengo. With three to shoot. Let's see if they execute this baseline out of bounds here. Scott launches the three. Just about breaks the window. <laughs> Four and a half minutes to play. Ogilvy. And the handoff to Williams. Back to Hassel. Kase. Back to Perotti. Perotti puts the brakes on from 16. Shot barely ticked off the front iron. Albi gets it to Scott. Scott working on Hassel. Yeah, that is good. Tough He's shot such a by good. Devin Scott. He's just such a good post-up player. He's got the hook shot, drop steps, face-up jumper. Um, you know, I, I think as they get to know him a little more, they need to utilize him in the post because he's he's just so effective in there. And he makes free throws, so... Uh, great decision there to uh, run some clock and give it to uh, Devin Scott in a post there. Nice pull up, nice face up jump shot. So the lead back to 11 with 404 to play. Timeout by Tabraka Maccabi. And again, you can't trade basket for basket. Tabraka's got to come up with some stops. You maybe go zone and tempt Flamengo with some three point looks, knowing that. It might not be. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. You know, taunt them to make them shoot the three. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just important here. Uh, you, you know, Jordan Williams has been kind of absent except for a couple of spurts here. Um, you know, maybe it's time for it to get him the ball uh, a few times in a row and see if he can uh, ignite your team here offensively. Flamengo, not terribly much better in the second half, three-point shooting. They're 5 of 14 after now, being 3 of 18 in the first half. I know you don't like that foul there. I don't understand why you're up by 11 and you full-court press and foul someone 90 feet from the basket. It makes no sense. And you stop and the, the foul clock. On. Fortunately for you, they missed the free throw, but that makes no yeah. sense. 
You're playing against the clock here. Don't stop it. That was the fourth foul on Didi Luzada. Not sure what that discussion was about. I think who fouled, maybe? I'm not sure. So now if you're uh, second. Flamingo may be going a little full court uh, press and then back into the zone maybe. They got the lead back to 10 with four minutes to play. So they gave up a point over the last minute. Balbi thought about the three, gets into the lane, kicks it out, open look from the wing. That's good! Didi Luzada. Maybe that does I it. Keep, I keep telling you, Craig, they need to shoot more threes. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McKeskey Lightning is going to strike you. <laughs> Castle. Castle. Oh. Strong to the hole and hits the right hand hook. now with 16. Looking for Scott. Didn't get him as Ducasse was providing the defense. Now Scott again working on Ducasse. Turns around and fades. Tough shot. But the offensive Big rebound guy. by Galvanini. Now that's... Galvanini missed it from in close. That's a youth youth move there. He could have kicked it out, run some clock. Rodi misses on the drive, but then the foul on the punch out by Ducasse. And I think things I think are not looking real good for Hebreka now. I think coach is explaining to the young to the young man Galvanini yeah, that hey, we're we're playing against the clock here. You get an offensive rebound, it's not an automatic putback. Just kick it out. Let's run some clock. Yeah. It's yeah, a good it's not a teaching moment. So Galvanini will go to the free throw line. From the strike tonight, he is three of six. And it looks like he's got a little blood on his shoulder to make him go out. Oh, back in your day, it would be unusual if a guy didn't have blood on his shoulder. Yeah, or his jersey, or his pants, or whatever. Now you can't even, you can't play. They take you out of the game. No, yeah. So actually, this is Machado to take the free throws in place of Galvanini. First free throw, two for Machado. He's Two of three in this game. Came into this one three of four. Machado knew he missed it. He tried to follow it in, but Golan Good blocked out and got the rebound. 74 62 inside two and a half minutes to play. Rody loses it, but it goes off of Flamengo. Cambios en Flamengo, 9, Gabriel Jaú, 23, Cayo Manfield. Cambio en el Reyes Macabi, 11, Frank Hassel. Hassel back in after a short breather. Jordan Williams. As his pocket picked, it's a three-on-one. Galvanini with the layup. Big turnover there. Yeah, from your best player, no less. That might have cost him the game. Not cost him the game, but ended this game. Good for three. Nope. Rebound tap back. And I think now Hebraica sees the writing on the wall. Yeah, 
45 to play. Flamingo by 14. We were tied at halftime, don't forget. I see it. At 36. Cambio se debería llamar Cavi, 35, Santiago Carimares, 10, Brian García. Forty points in the second half for Flamengo. Twenty-six. Cambio se debería llamar Cavi, Scott Machado. For Hebraica, as we see Gabriel Galvanini notches himself a double double. I don't. I don't know, Craig. To me, it seemed like Jordan Williams uh, just never got into this game. And you know, there's a couple spurts yeah, there, a, but you know, he just never exactly got into the, the word, game. That's exactly the word that I was going to use. Was he had a couple of spurts? If he misses the three with the shot clock winding down. Big win Jordan Williams, Flamingo. I think, finished the, yeah, Jordan Williams, I think, finished the first quarter with six points and seven rebounds. He had eight and two the rest of the way out. Yeah, never really touched the ball and never got in the flow. Yeah, I mean, did you notice defensively that Flamengo was doing anything to deny him the ball? No, I don't think they're doing that, but they are playing very good, solid pressure defense, and they've done it most of the game. So, uh, and for the most part, done it without fouling, which is which is key. Give them credit for the defense they play. Galvanini with the left hand hook off the glass. Two more for him. are at 20 seconds. Williams misses the three and they whistle Balby for a foul. Why? <laughs> That's yeah, one of those where Balby knows he got him, but he's like, come on, do you have to whistle that here? Yeah. Well, say, Balby so, was trying uh, not yeah. to foul him. Yeah. When is the last time Balby ever blocked a shot? <laughs> so why are you trying? <laughs> uh, well, fortunately, it doesn't really matter in the game. Gives uh, uh, Jordan Williams a, a few more p points, but uh, you know that's you know that's still uh, you know it's just kind of silly play. The last time Franco Balbi blocked a shot was against Boca in December. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Block in that he game. blocks. He blocks one shot every month. <laughs> well, he's not going to get his January one tonight. <laughs> Jordan Williams now with 17 points comes out. A quiet 17. And Didi Luzada into the front court. Guarded by Garcia. This game. This is not the game. Again, the shot will not count. Flamingo, Final score 78 to 65. In favor of Flamengo. So Flamengo in the driver's seat in Group C with seven points heading into the February. Michael Maccabi, second with six points at the two and two record. Boca Juniors with a one and two record. They have five points. Beg your pardon. A one and three record with five points. Of Michael Maccabi. Two and two. And Flamengo three and one. As we look at the final numbers on this one. For Hebraica Maccabi. 20 of 60 from the floor overall, 5 of 23 from three-point range. A lot of those coming at the end as they were just trying to shoot themselves back into the game. 20 of 27 from the free-throw line. 
For Flamengo, 27 of 65, 41.5%. They were 9 of 35 from three-point range. Not great, but significantly better than they were. On two-point shots, again, 60% ball, 18 of 30. <laughs> and they were 15 of 22 from the free-throw line. Nebraica actually won the rebounding battle, 44 to 39. For Hebraica Maccabi, Juan Ducasse, six points, six boards. Franklin Hassel, 16 points, six boards. Ernesto Ogilvy, eight points, ten rebounds. Federico Haller, two points. Luciano Perotti, 16 points, six assists. And Jordan Williams finishes with 17 points, nine rebounds. For Flamengo, Franco Balbi, 16 points, three boards, six dimes. Gabriel Galvanini, 14 points, 11 boards. Didi Luzada, 5 points, 5 rebounds. Scott Machado, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists. Kyle Manfio, 9 points, 3 rebounds. As we get ready to roll the highlights here, before we do that, we're going to take a look at the Group C standings. Flamingo with 7 points, Brightco with 6, and Boca Juniors with 5. Remainder of the scoring for Flamengo. Guy Deodato, 11 points, 4 rebounds. Marco Filipovity, 2 points. Now we look at the highlights. Devin Scott finished with 12 points and 3 rebounds. And just a solid effort in that second half by Flamengo. Yeah, they just they had more 29 points more in that second half, scored 42. Yeah, they, they picked up their defensive intensity. They're all over the glass. They just had more energy and more effort in that second half. And uh, it kind of surprised them that uh, uh, Thorbaka Maccabi uh, didn't uh, step up to that challenge. But, uh, you know, give credit to uh, Flamengo. They, they came and uh, played a great game and had a great victory. So heading into the February window, Flamengo with one more point, and these two teams split their first two games in December and January. So it'll be interesting to see how Group C shakes out coming up next month. Tomorrow, it's Udek and Obras. 6.40 p.m. local time, 4.40 p.m. Eastern time, live from Concepcion in Chile. It'll be Carlin Gay along with Paul Mokeski as they get Group D started. And then on Sunday, Sam Brief will join Paul. Once again, the final score, Flamengo with the big Group C win, 78-65 over Hebraica Maccabi. For my partner, Paul Mokeski, my name's Craig Fada. Thanks again for watching, everybody. So long for now.